Hey everyone, welcome back to Dag Dag Plays, Earth Defense Force Insect Armageddon. We're going to be jumping into a mission here where we, uh, we're going to be trying to evacuate, I guess, because things are getting a little too, uh, too deadly where, where we're currently at. So I'm going to be playing the tactical class this time, and hopefully uh, making some good use of the advantages that it has. That weird angle starts up again. Kind of interesting. Cool. So we're gonna do a little mech piloting. It looks like. Hopefully we're still going to be able to show off some of the class abilities that the trooper has. Or the tactical unit, I guess is what I'm actually playing here. Uh, because it seems like it would be a little unfair, I guess, that uh, I'm trying to show clip case all of the classes here. Probably will, will, will worry a little bit more about this guy here. Apparently got an achievement there, probably just for killing a bunch of bugs. Alright, well, bunch of spiders. Doesn't look like there's any new units so far, there's just a crap ton of them. Probably shouldn't get in melee range of that guy. So, I haven't talked about the game, like, in depth a super bunch, but like this, it's okay. You know, like, it's either a bunch of stuff to shoot or whatever. But it, uh, like, it definitely. It's definitely not the best, I guess. Is what I'm kind of trying to get out of here. I don't know. I would necessarily recommend it to uh, people to necessarily buy a bunch or anything like that. It uh, it kind of gets the job done if you're just looking for a game that that you're uh, just trying to shoot a bunch of stuff in or whatever. But it even for that, like it's, it, there's just better games that you could probably buy that do the same thing. Looks like my allies here actually, uh, their mechs probably died, or I, maybe this is some scheduled point where they're trying to get out that hive just reopen, because that was a blew up. I guess they just keep digging out, so it's basically just infinite dudes until you get to the checkpoint. So I could kind of, I could kind of do without that. See if maybe I just have to get out to trigger this. Maybe. It really feels like a. Uh, I guess it's soft shot. Actually, apparently, the explosives on this thing. Seems kind of needless, but alright. A lot of bugs now. Um, so, you know, like, I'm not, I'm not trying to trash the game because it, it does everything that's really trying to do. 
Like it's it has it has it does everything that it promises, you know, like it has, it has really big bugs. It has you know up more big bugs. Some kind of, you know insect insect based Armageddon scenario, like it's it's basically everything that it says on the tin, but it it's still just like It feels like maybe for like I don't I don't know what their operating budget was or anything, if they like just did the best with what they have or what, but like it it feels like it could have it could have been like something a little more, maybe something with like actually more engaging gameplay. As it is, like the average mission lasts like 15, 15 20 minutes from from what the YouTube videos and everything was sh have shown me so far. But it's still, you know, it, it almost feels like it's dragging on too long. So we're probably almost done here. Yeah, there we go. It looks like the collapse has blocked the route. You're going to have to plant a charge to open it back up. This is what going to plant the charge on down here. So plant the charge, open up a tunnel. I'm gonna go kill a bunch more dudes probably. Probably shouldn't have been standing on the explosion, Cyrus. Just that didn't seem like a great decision. So this is the turret. It uses up some of your special energy meter. I'm guessing that that probably refreshes by uh, by. Oh god, that's a lot of ants. That is a lot of ants. So this is a shotgun. It's a, it's a shotgun. Anyway, uh, I'm guessing that. Collecting health pickups is gonna refresh that. I, I'm kind of hoping that it's not just like a finite resource that you only get a certain amount of. It looks like I was actually right uh, that the that the armor gets a little bit of, of, of a graphic on it when you're that's an awful place for that turret, I guess, considering all the ants just running around on top of it. Uh, I'm hoping that it, it that I'm going to get more of these or something just so that I can actually uh, kind of like use this turret a little bit more through the level, or like maybe once the once it depletes, it uh, it does something. I'm not super sure. Just because I. Uh, I'm actually taking a bunch of damage here. Hopefully it'll be worth it just to get through this area a little bit faster. I guess this is a good way to find out. There's a little bit of health over here. Uh, nope. Looks like I, like, once I deploy a turret, it just uses up, uh, a good deal of that, the resources forever and it looks like I'm actually kinda not in great shape here just because my turret wants to shoot the ground above me which is covered in bugs as opposed to the bugs that I'm actually engaging in combat so that that could have definitely been uh, better I think this is actually probably the most damage I've taken in the entire game like I imagine I'm still somewhat in like the tutorial area where they're expecting me to experience all of the different classes and everything, but even then with all the damage I'm taking currently, I'm not super at risk of uh, actually like really losing the game or anything. Maybe I should use my my abilities a little more proactively or something. Uh, just try and maybe stem the amount of health that I'm taking. There. 
hive or is this just a grip of bugs? Looks like it might just be a ton of bugs. I'm still going to drop this turret and hope for the best though. This turret doesn't seem to necessarily be a huge help. Like it's it's probably doing some damage, but I would almost rather I just had like the Oh, looks like I'm actually supposed to just kinda run up here. And ignore all those guys. That's kind of cool that it just lets you roll through the object. They, uh, anything obstructing you. But I want, it won't let me use it. Cool. So it looks like I probably need to collect some more health so I can. My allies kind of just cause left me here, it looks like. Probably still dealing with the huge round of bugs over there. At least they're leaving me a nice amount of health pickups. And I've got all the energy back from my turret. So let's go ahead and drop that guy there. And let him help me out a little bit. So I can just drop these explosives and get the heck out of there. I don't want to. I don't want to go down there. I want to. That's weird. I guess with the setup now, I've got to actually put a little more thought into like what weapon I'm using and that kind of stuff than I did uh, when I. Oh, that's a that's a, a ton of ticks. This is a situation for the shotgun, if I have ever heard one. Oh, so that's a new enemy. I'm not... I don't... I don't want to deal with that. So, I'm going to drop another turret, and... I don't like these ticks. I don't like. I don't like a lot of what's happening right here. I feel like I maybe didn't choose the best loadout for the mission. At the same time, I want to show off as much of the actual gameplay going on here. So it's not kind of just like your generic, uh, your generic just kind of like run around and shooting things, third-person shooter. But, uh, it would be super great if my turret's AI wasn't basically just retarded. Like, it's, it's literally just shooting into the ground because of the enemies down there. Which, uh, would definitely be a benefit if it would stop that forever. Basically, I could I could strongly go without that right now at this point in time. Cause this stuff is a pain in my ass. Yep, I I'm not a huge fan of the setup I have going into this mission. Like, there's, a, there's another turret that I could have brought in with me, but even then I don't think that would have been a huge help. Uh, just because, it like, it's designed to, you know, kind of deal with larger enemies, but it... Of course that helps me stuck up there where I can't even get to it. It, uh... 
I feel like the the real weak point of this class, or at least you know, kind of guessing going into it, was that I would have a problem against those larger swarms, and I'm not totally wrong. I just also don't have a great time against uh, basically anything. Like this, this class is pretty reliant on its turrets, and I'm just not leveled up in a way that those are something that I really want to be dealing with. Oh, oh, that sucks. I don't really want to be running into those explosions. So I just kind of got to manage shooting this thing in its weak points when it's open. And kind of just like hope that my allies deal with the guys coming out. Maybe run over here and get some of this health playing on the ground. Resource, I gotta make the best of it. My allies are shooting this stupid hornet. Literally just shooting it into the ground. Get rid of this giant tarantula. Where's the... Hi, Ant. Oh, there it is. It was right above me the whole time. I... I'll be judging the game a little bit harshly, though, just because this is, like, the first time that I've really been having a problem that it turns out wasn't just me... Just not... being good at the game, I guess. Like, I guess you could still argue that, you know, I'm, I'm not that, that super great at it, just because I'm, you know, I'm trying to show off the gameplay here, so I'm not maybe making the best decision. Like, I probably could have, you know, taken the, the Jet Trooper in again, and that would have been great, just because of the, uh, the homing weapons and whatnot. Uh, but, you know, I got I got I got to show off, show off what I can. I uh, I guess maybe just it's just this class in particular that I'm not a super huge fan of, or like the AI is just not great in this level. I can't even. There we go. Hit it a little bit. But, uh, the fact that, I, that I'm spending so much time with my AI companions kind of just, like, shooting into nothing, it's kind of frustrating me a little bit with, it, with this level, I guess would be the fairest way to say it. Because it really doesn't seem right that, uh, that a, l a fair amount of the challenge that I'm having is that my allies aren't doing anything productive depending on where I'm standing. Although they're a little bit better at actually seeing this stupid big flying ship than I am. So... I, uh... Definitely miss the the you know the jet class the heavy the heavy trooper guy would be great here. Really, just about anything but what I've got would be would be much preferred to. There we go. So I finally got that down. I agree, Cyrus. I agree. Is there another one? Tell me it's not a second one. And I just have to clear out these flying ships, because that'd be great. Oh, there's a big explosion. Cool. So, it looks like 
I uh, I made it. So that's that's great. Hopefully, just have to deal with. Uh, hopefully, no, but like, hopefully nothing. But I'm sure I'm gonna have to, you know, kind of mop up whatever random bugs they kind of leave on the city map for you. Oh no, it looks like that's it. So that was, that was this mission. Uh, let's see what upgrades I got. I level. Looks like it. So tier two weapons for the for the tactical class. I got a contact mine. Let's jump back in there real quick. Um, I got another deployable slot, so I could have two turrets if I want to, and I got a little bit more armor. So I will see you guys next time.